Hello, this is Jessica from Kentucky to Tokyo. So I got requests to see the snow that happens once a year here in like the Kanto, Tokyo area, Kanagawa stuff. So here's that. It's snow. It's, it's snow. You've seen snow, right? It's, it's snow. It just so happens to be in Japan. I'm sorry. I know that like a whole bunch of people also put up their snow things and we're just like, yeah, how great this is. Yo, how amazing. Meanwhile, I'm just, I'm cold and wet and I hate winter and I hate being late to go home. I mean, I got out of work early technically, but my umbrella broke because not only was it snowing, it was windy. It was technically a blizzard and uh, my umbrella broke. Luckily, I was walking back with a co-worker and she was amazing and let us like use her <laughs> umbrella the whole way back. But if it hadn't been for her, I would have been more of an icicle. As it was, I was just a pretty much an icicle on my legs. Oh, but it was not a good time. I mean, I did get some neat shots at the train stations and I got some like pretty cool things like showing off, but uh, I don't like winter. I don't. I don't like being cold. I don't enjoy seeing snow that much. It's snow. i grown up with snow. There's no like mysteriously lovely thing about snow that's like warming my heart to see it again. Just nah. And then everyone like online showed off a really cool snowman that I guess J Japanese people have made and that's neat. <sighs> but I just have no liking for that. So if you want to see somebody who's all like ganky and happy about snow, go to somewhere else. I don't care. So there's the snow bit. Congratulations. You saw snow. Now moving on to snacks because I am cold. If you hear a sound, that's my heater being on because I'm cold. I don't want to be cold. Yeah. Today we're going to look at snacks because I found these and that's the wrong direction. And so is that I'm on a roll today. So these are, yeah, takoyaki. What is this? Tay. Hey, ah. Takoyaki tay. So they're like little balls of like takoyaki flavored um, puffs. Kind of like, you know, Cheeto balls. Interesting because takoyaki is, you know, fried octopus shrimp inside a little, f like, fried balls with, like, sauce on top. It's. They're delicious, don't get me wrong, but I was just curious as to whether or not takoyaki, like, chips would actually be delicious. I'm curious. And it's been a while since I, like, tried some interesting Japanese flavors, so here we go. I am opening said bag, and I'm going to eat them. Oh my god, no, I'm not. Oh my god. Here we go. So for those of you who think that, like... I'm gonna do this regularly, maybe. If I can keep finding something I consider odd, but God, I've lived in Japan for six years. Nothing's odd really to me anymore. I'm kind of just used to everything being the way it is. So like, there's these and that's neat. So here we go. Holy shit. They taste like takoyaki. Like, at least the sauce part anyway. Like, these taste pretty much like how takoyaki does. No, it's so weird. Like, yeah, takoyaki sauce. I can even taste like an aftertaste of mayonnaise, which I'm not a fan of, but like that. And then, yeah, it just, yeah. It tastes mostly like that, like, fried batter that's on the outside of it. These taste pretty much dead on like takoyaki would in chip form. I just assumed they would taste kind of, I don't know, barbecue-y. I just, I didn't think they would actually taste like it, but they do. I dig it. I don't know. 
Like, um, I like takoyaki. Wow. So for me, like, eating this is just like eating takoyaki. And so I enjoy it. I would say, though, probably if you're somebody who's more of a, uh, I don't know, if you were expecting barbecue and that's not what you got, or if you were expecting, say, like a more tangy kind of flavor, then you probably wouldn't enjoy this. But I like these. I don't know. This is my new, like, Japanese snack that I like. I'm going to bring this, I'm going to bring some of these to a party at some point and see if other people enjoy them and agree with my analysis. neat. I really didn't expect them, A, to taste as good too. Like, I thought for sure, like, if somebody was to do, like, an artificially flavored takoyaki thing, it would not taste good. But it actually does. It's delicious. Yay. That's good. I'm actually happy that I got these and I enjoy them. And then the other thing I want to try, this one's a little bit different, but my friend bought me these and I still haven't tried them yet, so... Okay, so these are sake Kit Kats. So my friend Alex, thank you, Alex. I know you sometimes watch my stuff, but yeah, these are pretty interesting. Um, I have tried these before, but um, I don't know how to describe them quite well, so I'm gonna eat one and try to think it, but basically it's what you think. There's white chocolate and they're sake flavored kind of inside. So I'm going to show you what they look like. So yeah, just white chocolate on the outside, sake on the end, Kit Kats basically. Um, yeah. So that whole like Kit Kats in Japan come in different flavors thing. Very true. There's even wasabi Kit Kats out there. There's like little cream in between. Yeah, um, I enjoy these. I think they're, I think it's definitely an acquired flavor though. Like, because I think sake, especially Japanese, like really strong sake is kind of also an acquired thing. Oh, high focus. What are you doing? Okay. So man, it's just not, maybe if I stop moving. <laughs> so yeah. Japanese things in general, usually for people, it's like acquired taste. Like you need to try them over and over again before you really enjoy them. So sake is good, but at the same time, strong, really aged Japanese sake, it's a little bit different. It's not exactly something that you'd get in the States. So I'm used to this sake flavor and white chocolate's all right. The combination of the two is delicious and I recommend It's like a combination of two things. Dessert, being drunk, but without any negative side effects. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is this. This is like a winter special thing, according to online Japanese sources. So this is Yoru no... I hope I still... Payong. Payong. And then this is... Uh, so... Piri karashi sauce. So it's supposed to be like a Malaysian esque spicy night, like dinner kind of yakisoba. And I'm just curious as to like, is it actually spicy or is it not? Or is it like Japanese spicy? Because Malaysian spices are a little different and Japanese generally. Okay, not always, but for the most part, Japanese spices, besides wasabi, like Japanese stuff is usually pretty mild. It's not usually that spicy. So I'm just curious as to whether or not this is actually, you know, that kind of spice. So I'm gonna go make this and uh, yeah, just try it out and see what happens. Okay, so just like before, you take all this stuff out you put stuff back in after you've opened the little tiny boxes. You put the water inside, three minutes, drain, 
and then you're done. So, kokokara akeru, so you open this up, you take the stuff out, then you close it for three minutes, drain on this side, ta-da. I'm just going to fast forward through all that nonsense and get to the eating part. So here's the completed thing. It actually kind of smells, reminds me of like, yeah, red pepper smell. I don't know if that means it'll actually be spicy though. So let's find out. Yeah, spicy. Not like, I don't know, not like a, not like the spiciest I've ever had, but pretty spicy. I guess it like kind of warms you up. Yeah, yeah. It's not wrong. It's technically spicy. And it's like, I don't know. It's spicy yakisoba, basically. I mean, um, I don't know why you would consider this, like, dinner <laughs> specifically thing, but alright. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's the same basic uh, concept as yakisoba, though. There's, like, the dried veggies, just the sauce is spicier, I guess. And um, there was some kind of salt or little flakes in there. I'm not really sure if they're nori flakes or if they're supposed to be spicy, whatever. It's good though. Like I don't know. It, sure, <laughs> it's it's all right. If you wanted to have a different kind of yakisoba in your life, sure, go ahead and try this out. It's fine. Um, I'm really weak when it comes to spices too. For an American, uh, like I can handle this just fine. So even if you like mild spices, this is pretty okay. Um, yeah. It's alright. I'm gonna take another bite just to be sure. Yeah, it's fine. Kind of has like that tingly aftertaste of, uh, like I said, red peppers. It kind of reminds me of that. Like after you've had some kind of like chili sauces, red pepper sauce stuff, and you eat that, and then afterwards you kind of have that like leftover tingly sensation. Not like an allergic reaction sensation, but just, you know, from from peppers, that kind of thing. That's what I feel right now, is that. So I think after eating this whole thing, my mouth would be displeased with me. I don't know if I'll eat the whole thing, actually. It's kind of fine, it's all right, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. I don't know. Eh. Eight out of 10, I guess, I don't know. Um, I think, out of all the things I've eaten tonight, though, the takoyaki things are the ones I like the best. They're pretty darn delicious. So yeah, that's basically all for today. <sighs> I'll just start collecting weird on weird quote unquote unusual, I guess is a better way to put it. The more like unusual flavors. I'm just going to start collecting them and just keeping them. Once I get to like three or four of them, then I'll make another video. But I don't know. This is fine. It's all right. Yeah. This actually reminds me of just, like, I don't know, like American Chinese food. Like, American's version of what they think Chinese food tastes like. That's what this kind of reminds me of. This reminds me of, like, the spicy noodles that you could get at an American restaurant. I bet if you are somebody who loves, you know, really spicy curry and like really spicy stuff this might be a little bit disappointing or it's kind of like eh. I could see my my mother and my brother taking this and going eh this isn't really spicy or they would kind of eat it and go eh it's not really that enjoyable maybe but for somebody like me who's so weak when it comes to spicy things this is perfectly fine it's something different the usual yakisoba stuff that I eat it's, it's, it's you know cheap hungover food <laughs> honestly this is a nice change of pace i don't know if you're looking for something different for either lunch or dinner i don't know why this would be particularly for dinner eh. but 
yeah, sure, try it out. You won't regret it. It's only like me, Hyakuin, so, ma. And it's at, for me anyway, it was at Family Mart. It's perfectly fine. It's edible. It's not like the chocolate experiment I did last time. This is perfectly fine. Um, I've had spicy versions of yakisoba before. This one in particular is a little different. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of spicy Chinese food and red peppers-ish, that like kind of after flavor. But it's perfectly fine. It's, I don't know, it's not the best I've ever had. But I mean, it's yakisoba. Kind of just cheap food. This is a different sauce. Eh, it's fine. I would say, sure. Eight out of ten. Go ahead and eat it. Fine. Whatever. Um, I think out of all the things I tried tonight, the Takulaki balls were actually the best thing I had. Uh, because I didn't expect them, I think, to taste that good. I thought they were gonna just taste terrible. So for me, Takoyaki balls are a 10 out of 10. But I wanna see what my friends think. My friends who also like Takoyaki. Not more of those actually. I'm kinda like kind of already done with this. I only had like a couple bites and I'm like, eh. It's okay. Uh the sake Kit Kats, I enjoy them, but I think they are an acquired flavor. So I don't know if everybody would like like if you don't like sake or if you don't like white chocolate and you don't think the two combined together would be good for you don't try it but yeah I actually do want to get my hands on a whole bunch of Kit Kat flavors and try them out because I it's one of those things I just never have gotten around to doing I mean the pumpkin flavor of Kit Kats I have tried those come out in October and they are amazing and I should have bought a whole bunch of those when they were there last October and just kept them around but I forgot eh. so yeah I'll just start collecting things and then when I have enough things I'll do another video eh. but yeah this has been me from Kentucky to Tokyo Jessica stuff all right bye <laughs>